The first female general secretary of the Labour Party, Baroness Margaret McDonough, has died at the age of 61. McDonough played a key role in Labour winning the general elections of 1997 and 2001 under Tony Blair. Labour leader and MP for Hoban and St Pancras, Sakia Starmer, said he is devastated and called McDonough a tireless champion for women. She was diagnosed with brain cancer in 2021. On the 27th of November, 2021, my beautiful, unique, tough, resilient, successful sister collapsed in front of me and had a, se a series of fits. Five hours later, in University College Hospital, two doctors named Henry told me that they suspected she had a brain tumour, but as this was the NHS, MRI scans were not done at the weekend and they couldn't confirm their diagnosis. Just before Christmas, she had the tumours removed by two amazing female surgeons, Roshin Finn and Anna Muscardi, at the Royal National uh, Neurological Hospital. But this was post-Brexit, so there weren't enough nurses to keep all the uh, operating theatres theaters open and her operation was cancelled three times. I leave it to yourself to, get, to guess just my reaction to that and how we got that operation in the end. I wonder what my mum, who came here in 1947 to train as the first generation of nurses from Ireland would say, about the NHS abandoning her daughter. I accept my responsibility. All that I want is for the NHS, the cancer research charities, the pharmaceutical companies to stand up and accept their responsibility and to give some hope to the 3,200 people who will be diagnosed with a glioblastoma this year. We hear you, Siobhan. Every year, 3,200 people in our country find out they have glioblastoma, a really tough and serious diagnosis. And that's why I wanted to share the story of such a remarkable person who turned her own fight with this disease into a mission to help others, which is just typical Margaret. Margaret's journey was about courage and not giving up, even when the options seemed so limited. She showed us what it means to truly stand up in the face of adversity. And now it's our turn to keep that spirit alive. That's why 
I'm lacing up my running shoes for the Roll Marathon and not just for the challenge, but to carry on Margaret's incredible legacy in my own creative way as I know how. And this is our chance to come together to support groundbreaking glioblastoma research and to make a real difference. I'm asking you to be a part of this, to join in this cause that Margaret believed in so deeply. You can help by donating to our fundraiser and together we can continue Margaret's fight. Margaret was abandoned by the NHS, but in life, she never abandoned anybody in need. I'm only in politics because of the support and the faith that she showed in me. And that is why I'm fundraising in her name, so that we can sponsor vital drug trials at UCLH and make a real difference to what ended up being Margaret's final campaign. Thanks for listening and for all of your support. Let's do this for Margaret and for all those facing glioblastoma. And I hope you appreciate the rest of the video. And a warm welcome to Odeon. I'm guessing you're here to lose yourself in the magic of the big screen, yeah? And not to be distracted by someone's phone screen. Am I right? Thought so. OK, here's the deal. Switch off your phones, finish your conversations. Yeah, that does mean you two in the middle row. Yeah, OK, I see ya. Sit back, clear your mind and relax. It's time to free your imagination. for the bit everyone loves. Oh yeah, the trailers. I love the trailers. All specially chosen for this film, actually. There was once a dream that was Rome. You could only whisper it. Anything more than a whisper, and it would vanish.
I've seen much of the rest of the world. It is brutal and cruel and dark. Rome is the light. It was a dream that was well. It shall be realized. What we do in life echoes in eternity. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is that not what you are here? We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Your Worshipful, the Mayor of Merton, Madam Mayor, introducing Gladiator. Ah, Gladiator. Your valour is well known both in this country and abroad. However, you are a mystery and the people deserve to know who is behind the mask. So tell me, what is your name? My name is Gladiator. Are you refusing to remove your mask? How dare you remove your mask and tell me your name? My name is Lucius Septimus Severus, rose to power in Rome's darkest hour, secured Britain for the Roman Empire, and father to a murdered son, Husband or murdered yes, wife? Yes, 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 yes. We've all seen the movie A Summer. I, I mean, Gladiator. But I've called you here on an important matter. I am raising funds for a very important charity in honour of this marvellous woman you see in this photograph, Baroness Margaret McDonough. We are raising money for a legacy charity that she has set up to conduct clinical research trials to find a cure for glioblastoma. It's a very, very important charity. And I know that with our help and my help and with the money, we can move forward and find that cure that's so sorely needed. So I am setting you a challenge, Septimus. Would you take on this challenge of running a marathon for this wonderful cause? Yes, ma'am. I am grateful to you. So I send you on your mission and please give Caesar my kind regards. Ma'am. A 
about 3,200 people every year in the UK are diagnosed with a glioblastoma brain tumour. Um, from diagnosis, um, the expected life um, left is about nine months. Um, and there's been no improvement in treatment in 30 years. There's very little research taking place um, and it's a death sentence and people very rapidly reach the end of what the NHS can provide. Um, Dr. Paul Mull Holland, who's a medical oncologist at University College London Hospital mm -hmm. uh, and the foremost expert in glioblastoma in Europe, believes that he can find a cure within 10 years. Uh, but that is going to require drug trials with drugs that already exist uh, for other forms of cancer. Mm -hmm. And the most, the closest forms of cancer to a glioblastoma are uh, melanoma, skin cancer, or certain forms of blood cancer. Um, and he believes that if he can raise the funds, we can raise the funds for the trials, mm -hmm. uh, that we can find something that will be effective very quickly. But that is we're going to require the drug companies to give us the cutting edge jobs and uh, for us to be able to raise the funds to pay for the trials. So this money will make a significant difference? Oh, it could, you know, uh, any money we raise could mean that we will have a cure for this terrible disease within 10 years. Without it, people will still have a terrible illness and a terrible death. Margaret was really brave throughout her illness, as you would expect from her life. Mm. Um, she was determined to help other people um, find a cure for this terrible illness. She raised funds to have a machine brought over from Germany, uh, which Dr. Mulholland still uses. Um, she always campaigned for people's lives to be better, and that's evident from, you know, her no party activity, she, yes. were, she organised two general election campaigns. <laughs> well, Labour's not always great at winning election campaigns, but her two were some of our biggest historical victories in 97 and 2001. Mm -hmm. um, she, after leaving the Labour Party, she later went on to setting up her own business, The Pipeline, uh, which trained women and got women on to the next run of the ladder in their careers. And she was particularly proud that she uh, was able to help a lot of uh, black and Asian civil women civil servants mm. who hadn't made it into the senior civil service. And through her training, she got amazing um, results. Um, the letters I've received since her death from people I have never met and she had never talked to me about, uh, about what a difference she made to their lives, mm. how she helped them at a time when they were going through difficulties are just extraordinary. Mm. It was a life so well lived. Oh, absolutely. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't be in politics without yeah. her support. Yeah. So um, her impact was so widespread. Um, and I think uh, the best thing we could do now is uh, continue her last campaign and uh, make sure others don't go through what, uh, uh, well, what she went through in her final days. Oh, absolutely. I couldn't wish for anything more. Thank you, Siobhan. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>
Teach me how to think Can only get better Can only get Can only get Think it over a million No, I know that things Can only get better I'll look at